Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to check out the mythic items. This will be an overview video. I will create in-depth separate videos for each piece. On the public test server, we have five pieces right now. There is six in total. For some reason, the snow treaders medium feet is missing. That's the one where you basically get immunity to snare and demobilizations that can be cleansed, but you cannot sprint. The other five, Ring of the Wild Hunt, so they have pretty cool different animations, like it, just how it looks visually here. This one increases your movement speed by 15% while in combat, increases your movement speed by 45 while out of combat. Then we get Torque of Tonal Constancy. While your stamina is less than 50%, increases your magic recovery by 40, 450. While your magic is less than 50, increases your stamina recovery by 450. Pression Stranglers, that's what a lot of people talk about currently. Killing an enemy grants you a persistent stack of slow it's called. Up to a maximum of 20 stacks. Each stack increases your spell damage by 150, but also increases your damage taken by 2%. So that's a buttload of extra spell damage. Malakov's Band of Brutality. Increases your damage done by 25%, you cannot deal critical damage. Very interesting for like Battlegrounds or no CP Zero Deal. Then we have Bloodlord's Embrace. Dealing damage with a bash attack places a persistent, uncleansable blood curse on an enemy. You can only have one blood cursed enemy at a time and dealing additional bash damage moves the blood curse. Blocking an attack from a blood cursed enemy restores 685 magicka to you. It has a 1 second cooldown. So these items sound pretty juicy and might make for some good builds. Now, how do you actually get them? Not a lot of people are... I'm not even sure if somebody already managed to get one on the PTS. They're pretty hard to actually obtain. If I recall correctly, you need to have a specific level in scrying to even get gold leads. What are gold leads? Let me check. Where do I have to go for this? I think here. Antiquities, yeah. These are like items. And now, because I'm only level 1, I can only get green ones. So first off, what you need to do is level up that stuff here. Up to a master, up to ultimate difficulty. I think that's this one. Yeah. You basically need the max level leads... Once you have that, you have to actually find the leads for these mythic items. And there, I think there is five leads that you need to combine to get the mythic item. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be pain in the ass. That's what I'm trying to say. Again, I don't think anyone actually figured out how to get them or where to get them. For example, the Freshen Stranglers. This one is specific to Somerset, so we will drop in the Somerset zones, maybe from monsters, maybe from world bosses, maybe in public dungeons, we are not sure. We also don't know how low or high the drop rate is. All that stuff has to be figured out yet. I will have a guide on the website once we know more about these items. Basically say, okay, you gotta go there, that's where it drops, where you can get the lead and so on, but trust me, it will be grindy. So don't think you can log in when Greymore launches and day one you will have this item. That's not gonna happen. It's gonna be very, very difficult. So let's see if these items have any animations. First off, the Fresh and Stranglers. This is the set that gives like a crazy amount of spell damage that a lot of people are testing out, cheesing target dummies and so on. That's basically 3k free spell damage before modifiers. But you also take 40% more damage. So is it really viable? It depends. I feel like this item has a kind has really good power creep potential because a good player will manage to mitigate the damage. Good players don't necessarily stand in like unnecessary AoE. Well, maybe that's not exactly true because DPS horny people usually focus on dps but anyway 
basically a good player will not s stand in stupid whereas like uh, an unexperienced player probably will and then that will kill him so we'll have to see i already have seen people run maelstrom arena with this item on me like on completely stacked spell damage bonuses so it works in certain areas but you also have to really know what's going on you barely can get damage and so on so for like newer plays this is a no-go item on top of that if you change zones you will lose all the stacks and you need the killing blow to actually get the stack there's a lot of hurdles while it might work on a target dummy it doesn't necessarily work in a trial because again you need to get the stacks and the killing blow and all that stuff very painful but we will see i'm sure some people will figure out the way how to go around these things that's this now does it actually have an animation first off these here are my buffs when i actually kill a monster We get this lightish glow on us when basically something dies. That's the slowed call. So yes, we get extra spell damage. And these are the hands. They look pretty cool. Yes, once again, I will do in-depth videos on this stuff. But yeah, very powerful item. So Sauce has been trying to do new things I think Gilliam called it the Kiss Curse. Basically, similar to New Moon. Let me see, yeah. Like, give us 481 weapon and spell damage, but place a negative effect on it. So, yeah. The problem in the ESO is that it's very easy to set off the negative side effects. And then you will just be completely OP. And that's what a lot of these items are. Once people figure out how to cheese this stuff, it's gonna be completely OP. Some people already thought about just equipping Plague Doctor. So you sit around 30k health. Then you also don't care about 40% damage taken because whatever, you have so much health, you're gonna survive most hits, even if 40% of damage or barrier rotations or just damage mitigation and stuff like that. And you might will still have more spell damage than you currently have access to. Things like this have to be tested further but again very strong power creep potential but we have to see how it really will be used i only know maelstrom arena good players they will just nuke everything into heaven so it's applicable there took people like one two days to figure it out so maybe a few more weeks and people will use it in trials that's the first item now the second one blood lords Embrace, that's how it looks. Pretty cool chest. Dealing damage with a bash attack places a persistent uncleansable block curse. Then when you block, let's... Let's bash the guy. Now let me block. Okay. It also has a pretty cool animation. Now, if you can proc this on cooldown, that's obviously very powerful. That's a lot of extra magicka, but you need to block. And it can only be active on one player. So we'll see. I don't really see this as like super good yet, but who knows. Maybe on, like, especially in PvP, on like very block centric builds or on like tank setups, this could be very strong because it will basically give you unlimited magicka. For chains, for more debuffs, buffs, and stuff like that. Could be something. Move on. Malakov's Band of Brutality. Increases your damage done by 25%. You can not deal critical damage. Let's give this man some close before we move on. Sure. There we go. Now. The stat sheet seems to not be affected by the ring. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Now when I actually kill some enemies. You will see that I cannot crit.
zero 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 zero. So it works. It just doesn't really show on the stat sheet yet. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's intended. The stat sheet oftentimes is wrong, so never really like make sure to test things. Because the stat sheet you never can trust it. For some reason. This one very powerful in battlegrounds and no champion points Cyrodiil. Some builds already have super low crit, so whether you have maybe 15, 20 or 0% whatever, 25% non-crit damage is very powerful. Will also boost proc sets because proc sets cannot crit, therefore they will also benefit from this. It's gonna be super super strong, it's a lot of extra damage. Move on. What else do we have? Did I miss one? Nope. Ring of the Wild Hunt. Increases your movement speed by 15% while in combat. Increases your movement speed by 45 while out of combat. So this here is out of combat and you can see. I mean, I'm gonna slap this baby on my speedy chi build. You're gonna, you're gonna be on max cap so easily without any issues. And even in combat, you're still gonna be fine. Probably will reach the max speed, ca like sprint cap, super easily. In combat, it's the same thing. I'm still super fast. Could slap on Swift on top of that. The thing is, yeah, in PvE, when you're doing speed runs, you really want to push to the max. These few seconds can matter. So you might want this ring for that kind of stuff, okay? While we just run to the first monsters, you equip this. With Swift on top, you're gonna be lightning fast. Or just for farming things, right? Also very strong. And in PvP, this might be the best damage mitigation set. You think I'm kidding, but the thing is... A while ago, when there was a Swift meta, it was very powerful because you could kite so fast around structures, it was... It was better it was basically impossible to hit enemies properly that were running at high speeds and the server also has trouble to actually catch up with people that move around super fast therefore you could avoid a lot of damage simply because the server could not keep up or because you could run around structures and stuff and then the enemy could not really hit you with certain abilities and nowadays because the servers in pvp are even more laggy it's gonna be even stronger probably Keep that in mind. But yeah, I think this one is a very strong item. We check this out, then Torque of Tonal Constancy. This one is while your stamina is less than 50%, increase your magic recovery by 450 and the other way around. It's a necklace. This is a little bit confusing. I guess it could be strong, but it might be a little bit tricky to use. If you can control your magic or stamina, sure. Why not? Let me actually see if I if there's an animation. Doesn't seem to be one. But it actually shows here like I got a huge buff to my recovery. And now it's over 50 and it's gone. Okay. Did the wild hunt actually have an animation? Yeah, you can only wear one. Nah, no, not really. I, I really hope all of these will get some animation. Because, because there's very special items. I think they should have one. But yeah, you can only wear one mythic item at a time. That's something I forgot to mention. So yeah, again, don't get too hyped about this stuff. It's going to be a pain to grind. It will take a while. And really, people will probably figure out how to get them on the PTS. But so far, I don't think a lot of people even know how to get them yet. Or like how, where the leads are and things like that. We just know that most of the leads, you get them from killing random monsters and so on. And then like they mentioned in the patch notes... Some item sets from these mythic items, like the Fresh and Stranglers. They told us requires Somerset. Ring of the Wild Hunt requires 
So this one here requires Merkmire. And Malakov's Band requires Orsinium. So we know that these leads of these items will drop in these specific zones. But we still don't know where. And the other three, we have no clue where they drop. They might drop in all the zones or just in one specific. But I'm sure we will figure it out during the public test server. This was the first overview. What do you actually think about these sets? How powerful are they? Will you use them in your build? I see them as an addition for certain situations. People that really want to min-max will definitely use this. But it might be quite a pain to actually obtain all of these items. A lot of grind, a lot of grinding. Digging holes, scrying, doesn't sound that exciting for me at least. So we'll see how this turns out. I will do in-depth videos on each of these items just to showcase what their potential actually is. But I gotta do more testing on some of the items first. There's a few other videos that you can watch already. Thanks for watching and see ya soon. Cheers.